three things I need to do today. First, I need to call homeowner insurance trying to save my parents a couple hundred bucks on their home. Second, I need to do an oil change for my car. Third, I need to recalibrate this drone's obstacle avoidance. Sounds like a fun day. Thank you for calling. I understand whole sentences, so tell me how I can help you today. Uh, direct me to homeowner insurance. You're calling about homeowner's insurance, right? Yes. About an existing homeowner's policy? No. Have we already given you a quote? No. Alright, in what state is the property located? Texas. Report this track of claims. Find the local office and more. Uh, I would like to get a quote for my home, I mean homeowner insurance. Sure. Wait, wait, hold on. So, so it's one, one, five. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Hello? Hello? Hello, 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 hello. Shit, I hate to fucking drop calls. T-Mobile. Ah! I have to redo the whole thing all over again. Have we already given you a quote? Yes. Quick. Sorry, please tell me. Hello. Yes. Oh, thanks. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because I thought I, I need to start all over again. Okay. 1465. Wow. Okay. Mission failed. Did not save a dime. Now onto the next activity. Oil change. I'm not going to put my oil change tutorial here. But if you're interested in the 2007 Mazda 6 oil change tutorial. Click it here. In this link. Now. Track because it's lunchtime. Chopstick is <coughs> my best friend. Here's my lunch. Something very urgent also. I need to send out my water bill. And that will be my transportation to the mailbox. Let's go. of the day mission three we're adjusting the obstacle avoidance of this big drone look at the size of this Woo -hoo! it's huge a quick introduction obstacle avoidance is an ultrasonic sensor that pretty much prevent the drone from hitting the wall that simple uh, DJI Phantom 4 has one uh one ultra sensor in the front it doesn't have it on all four sides but this bad boy right here it has on five sides 
There's one in the front, one on the left, one in the back, one in the right. And last but not least, one at the bottom. So we pretty much can avoid obstacle on all four sides and the bottom. That's going to be awesome. So now I'm going to make some adjustment to the guidance system. I need to power on the, uh, the drone. I want to hear it. There it is. Okay. All the sensors are detected and then you can preview. Hey, look. Oh. Now this is the important part. How it goes. Okay, first I'm going to try to let this drone go towards the uh, the garage wall to see if it will stop and how it will react. So now the setting now the setting is at uh, braking sensitivity is at 10. See how it will react before it hits the wall. Kind of too windy to do testing today. Uh, let's try again. Okay, now I'm changing location. Less windy. There's a wall blocking all the wind. So I'm gonna charge my. I'm trying to let my drone fly towards the fence and see how it will react. Okay, now let's try to set the braking sensitivity to one. So let's readjust that to one. Once again, same thing. Now we're, the braking sensitivity is at the minimum one. And trying to move the drone towards the fence, it should stop at a more subtle deceleration. I would say the difference is very hard to tell since it's so windy outside. I'm just gonna set the uh, all the setting back to default, but adjust the safe distance a little bit longer, uh, 2.5 meter away from the wall. So that could be a safe setting to to be set at when you're flying this expensive stuff. Mm -hmm.